The story follows prosecutor Choi Kung Ho and his mother, Young Soon, a pig farmer in the countryside. It starts when, in 1988, a powerful construction company, provoked by Young Soon and her husband's refusal to sell their land, orchestrates a fire that leads to the husband's murder. After the murder gets covered up by powerful prosecutor, Ote Su and construction company president, Song Wu Byok, Young Soon buys a new pig farm in a countryside village. Initially met with resistance from the villagers regarding the new pig farm in their town, when Young Soon unexpectedly goes into labor, the villagers put aside their objections and help in the birth of two babies, a girl named Lee Mi Ju and Young Soon's son, Choi Kung Ho. Determined to make her son a powerful person, Young Soon raises Kung Ho with strict discipline, forcing him to devote his life to studying to become a prosecutor. Fast forwarding to 2023, Kung Ho has become a powerful prosecutor and has strategically aligned himself with Song Wu Byok, the same man who arranged his father's murder. Kung Ho built this alliance by manipulating the legal system to secure the freedom of Wu Byok's grandson, by framing an innocent man for a murder that was committed by Wu Byok's grandson. Now, deep in Wu Byok's inner circle, Kung Ho sets his sights on Tae Su, who has ascended to the position of congressman and is competing for the presidency. As part of his revenge plan, Kung Ho approaches Tae Su's daughter, ballerina Hayong. When Tae Su, suspicious of Kung Ho, threatens to end the relationship, Kung Ho digs up damning details of a secret affair that Tae Su had with his secretary named Su Hyun. With evidence of the affair in hand, Kung Ho asks Wu Byok to formally adopt him as his son. This calculated move would unite Wu Byok and Tae Su as family once Kung Ho and Ha Yong get married, thereby consolidating Wu Byok's influence during Tae Su's presidency. But as Kung Ho plots his way up the ladder, things are strained between him and Young Soon. When she drives all the way to Kung Ho's fancy condo in Seoul, he tells the guard to say he's not there. Later, when Kung Ho brings Ha Yong to the village to meet Young Soon, she is excited to meet her son's fiance, but as it turns out, he's only there to get Young Soon's signature on the adoption papers. Before the ink dries on the forms, Kung Ho and Ha Yong rush back to Seoul, but as Kung Ho starts feeling tired while driving, Ha Yong takes the wheel. When her scarf flies out the window, Ha Yong stops to pick it up. While she is outside the car, a huge truck crashes into the vehicle with Kung Ho still inside, pushing it off a cliff. In the hospital, while Kung Ho is not dead, he is paralyzed, and when he wakes up months later, his brain has regressed to that of a seven-year-old. It turns out the accident wasn't accidental at all. In fact, Ha Yong had purposely slipped sleeping pills to Kung Ho and staged the crash after being convinced by her father that Kung Ho was having an affair with Mi Ju, had killed Secretary Su Hyun, and was using Ha Yong for her money and her family's power. After spending months in the hospital when Kung Ho returns home, initially he refuses to eat or speak. But Young Soon, determined to raise Kung Ho again with kindness and undo her regrets, helps him eat and regain movement in his upper body. Eventually, Kung Ho can use his upper body normally, although he is confined to a wheelchair to get around, and with the mindset and memories of a seven-year-old, Kung Ho spends his days innocently playing with So Jin and Ye Jin, Mi Ju's twin kids who are being raised by Mi Ju's mother. Although So Jin and Ye Jin think that Mi Ju is in America with their father, in reality, Mi Ju is struggling to get her career as a nail tech off the ground in Seoul, you see, when Kung Ho went to Seoul for his exams, Miju sponsored his studies while working in a nail salon. While Miju was supporting Kung Ho, the childhood best friends eventually started dating and happily built a life together. But as Kung Ho got more entangled in his revenge plan, one day he decided to break up with Miju. Without his knowledge, on that very day, Miju discovered she was pregnant with their children but determined not to hold Kung Ho back in life, Mi Ju kept the news from him and instead sent the children to be raised by her mother. In the present, once deciding to move back to the village after struggling for years in Seoul, Mi Ju is shocked to find Kung Ho in a wheelchair with the mind of a child. 
Kung Ho is also surprised when he meets Miju, as he is unable to explain the massive ache in his heart every time he looks at her, since he has no memory of Miju or their shared past. Despite Miju's efforts to keep her distance, Kung Ho and Miju keep running into each other around town. As they continue to bump into each other, Kung Ho gradually starts to regain snippets of his lost memories, triggered by their encounters. As the familiarity between them grows stronger, Miju finds herself tortured by both the pain of the past and the weight of her secret, that Kung Ho is So Jin and Ye Jin's father. One night, an assassin, sent by Tae Su, breaks into Kung Ho's home while he's alone. But just as they are about to attack Kung Ho, two men, sent by Wu Byok to collect evidence on Kung Ho, emerge from a cupboard. After a brief skirmish, both the assassin and Wu Byok's subordinates disappear into the night, leaving Kung Ho gripped with fear and paranoia. The next morning, Young Soon, who didn't believe Kung Ho's story of the bad men the night before, goes to the doctor for her stomach pain. There she receives a devastating diagnosis. She has incurable stage 4 terminal stomach cancer. Despite her suffering, Young Soon is determined to make Kung Ho independent, teaching him how to run the farm and everyday life. But tragedy strikes again when the government mandates the slaughter of their pigs due to an outbreak of foot and mouth disease at a nearby farm, pushing Young Soon to her breaking point. The next day, Miju presses Kung Ho to stick by his mother's side when she learns that Young Soon has bought weed killer, which is unusual. With Miju's words lingering in his mind, Kung Ho rushes home and arrives just as Young Soon has hung herself from a noose that she had set up in their living room. In a miraculous turn of events, Kung Ho suddenly finds the strength to stand up from his wheelchair and save his mother. But while Young Soon is overjoyed to see her son on his feet, Kung Ho is horrified by the thought that Young Soon would choose to leave him like that. Storming out of the house, Kung Ho can only be consoled by Mi Ju, who reasons that Young Soon must have had a good reason to have made her choice. Just like Kung Ho must have had a good reason to leave their life together all those years ago. With a fresh start, Young Soon decides that if being a bad mother and being strict with Kung Ho will get him to walk again, then it would be worth it. Pushing Kung Ho's wheelchair into a river, Young Soon encourages him to use his own legs to save himself. And after countless training exercises, Kung Ho is eventually able to walk again. Shortly afterwards, Young Soon discovers a hidden SD card behind a family photo that was left by Kung Ho on the last day before the accident. In the SD card is Kung Ho's diary going back to his days in law school, in which he unpacks his growing understanding of why Young Soon raised him to become a powerful prosecutor his love for Miju, his journey into investigating his father's murder, how he got in touch with Ote Su and Song Wu Byok after getting his job as a prosecutor, his eventual engagement to Oh Ha Yong, and how he sent Su Hyun and her son to the Philippines, instead of murdering them like he was instructed. Recognizing that Kung Ho's actions as a prosecutor were fueled by revenge, Young Soon is determined to prevent her son from returning to that path, and burns all of Kung Ho's documents that she was storing in her storage room, as well as the SD card. Determined to steer Kung Ho away from danger, Young Soon does her best to arrange his marriage. However, it proves challenging, especially since Kung Ho has completely fallen for Mi Ju, despite not remembering where these emotions come from. After Kung Ho and Mi Ju kiss unexpectedly, a frustrated Young Soon pleads with Mi Ju to step out of Kung Ho's life since being around Mi Ju is drawing Kung Ho closer to his previous life. On the same night, Mi Ju confides in her mother, admitting that Kung Ho is the father of Ye Jin and So Jin. Concerned that Mi Ju might devote her life to an unwell Kung Ho, her mother also urges Mi Ju to leave him alone. But, despite everyone in her life telling her to leave Kung Ho alone, the next day, Mi Ju brings the kids to Kung Ho's house to tell the truth about him being their father. However, as she arrives, Mi Ju discovers Young Soon passed out. After rushing Young Soon to the hospital, Kung Ho is devastated to learn of his mother's cancer. Meanwhile, Kung Ho and Mi Ju's childhood friend, Sam Sik, accidentally stumbles upon the DNA test revealing Taesu's illegitimate child and another hidden SD card containing incriminating evidence of the plot by Wu Byok and Taesu to murder Su Hyun and her son. 
Spotting an opportunity to earn some money, Sam Sik meets with Ha Yong and blackmails her. But before Sam Sik is able to get his money, he is suddenly grabbed by Taesu's men, who destroy the evidence and beat him up but aren't able to kill him thanks to a well timed rescue by Wu Byuk's subordinates. Even though Sam Sik didn't get his money, the damage was done. Ha Yong was horrified to learn that the woman her father claimed was Kung Ho's mistress was actually the mother of her secret half sibling. Confronting her father, Taesu threatens Ha Yong reminding her that she was the one who drugged Kung Ho. Despite the threat, Ha Yong escapes from her arranged wedding and, in response, Taesu orders his men to set Kung Ho's farm on fire to eliminate him once and for all. Finding their farm on fire after rescuing his mother from the flames, Kung Ho collapses, and as he lies there, memories flood back to him. Once Kung Ho manages to escape the fire, Samsik tells the police that he found two arsonists outside. However, fearing a repeat of history, Young Soon confesses to the police that the fire was her fault. When Miju later confronts Young Soon, it comes out that Kung Ho is So Jin and Ye Jin's father, surprising both Young Soon and Kung Ho, who secretly overhears everything. Unfortunately, their troubles with the police continue. When everyone realizes Kung Ho is awake, he is arrested by the police for the murder of Su Hyun, whose corpse has since been found floating near the shore. Taesu and Wu Byok's plan had been to kill Kung Ho in the fire and frame him as the baby's father and murderer of Su Hyun. Figuring out what was going on while the police interview him, Kung Ho pretends to be completely mentally unstable, but he can't fool Young Soon, who instantly realizes that Kung Ho's memories have come back at last. Once back at home, Kung Ho tells Young Soon that he is going to carry out his revenge plan, and there is nothing she can say to dissuade him. All Young Soon needs to do is cover for him for a few days, while he takes advantage of the fact that nobody knows his memory is back to get the evidence he needs. Kung Ho also visits Mi Ju to tell her that his memory has come back, and shortly thereafter, Mi Ju finds a video clip recorded by Ye Jin that shows Ha Yong putting the pills in Kung Ho's water on the day of the accident. Together, Sam Sik and Mi Ju go to find Ha Yong, who, they learn, is being held in a hospital against her will by her father until his election is over. While Sam Sik and Mi Ju break Ha Yong, who eventually agrees to join their side, out of the hospital, Kung Ho goes to visit the owner of the fishing boat that he arranged for Su Hyun to escape on who was the owner of a raw fish shop where Kung Ho worked in college. The fish shop owner shared that on the night that Su Hyun planned to escape, Taesu's guys trailed their boat. When they were far out in the ocean, the men boarded the boat, stabbed him, and trapped Su Hyun. This forced her to jump into the water and take her own life. But what Taesu doesn't realize is that the baby actually survived thanks to Su Hyun's quick thinking fooling the men into thinking she jumped with the child when she was just holding a fire extinguisher. Armed with this new evidence, Kung Ho confronts Tae Su and explains that he is planning to punish Wu Byok for the murder of his father. Kung Ho proposes a deal. If Tae Su betrays his alliance and testifies against Wu Byok's crimes, he'll walk away unharmed. Simultaneously, on a helicopter pad of a Seoul hotel, Wu Byok's assistant, who, together with his partner, have, while keeping an eye on Kung Ho as they were ordered, become close with everyone in the village and developed a passion for farming, purposefully triggers Wu Byok's rage. Just as Wu Byok is about to throw his assistant off the building, Kung Ho shows up, arresting Wu Byok for attempted murder and assault. In court, the evidence is overwhelming, especially with Taesu's testimony. However, the table turns on Taesu when his affair and illegitimate child are revealed. With his illegitimate child very much alive and his daughter brought as a witness, Taesu is also found guilty. Both Taesu and Wubyuk are sent to prison. Having successfully gotten his revenge, the story concludes with Kung Ho and Miju getting engaged and later married, Young Soon peacefully and happily passing away, and Kung Ho leaving his prosecutor role after clearing the innocent man that he initially framed for the murder that was committed by Wu Byok's grandson. Finally, with Miju by his side, Kung Ho takes over the family pig farm fulfilling Young Soon's wish, 
by becoming a farmer.